Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Today we're playing Corridor, Amount of Fear. This is uh, before the release date, and I just wanted to thank the developers for giving me a key. And we're going to give this another shot. Oh, that's right, the key's in here. Not that one. You're kind of expecting it that time. So here's this key, it's hidden on the seam. The seam of, uh, you know, the wood, the uh, floorboards. Picked up banana. Here's our inventory. So I just kind of assumed that... Huh. I just kind of assumed... Oh. I just got... Sorry, I, I totally lost my train of thought there, but I just kind of assumed that when we picked up the flashlight and the two batteries, that the batteries um, would have to be loaded into the flashlight. So we've been without a light this whole time. Um, that is my fault. I should have looked at the inventory. But let's see here. Controls. Can we turn the flashlight off? Looks like not. So yeah, that's something that we should be able to do. It looks like he's got his thumb on the button right there to turn it off. But yeah, so now I just feel like we should really just go through the fine tooth comb, pick up every little thing. So can we open all three doors? Again, that was the scariest part of the game so far for me. You just come from outside. So that's the front door. Or the back door. Okay, and so in case you haven't seen the other episode, we know that we go in here, do a little exploration. I'm not going to read this stuff this time because uh, there are cuss words in it, and I uh, prefer to leave that out of my channel. I read it last time with enthusiasm, but um, that'll be the only time. And so, yeah, so it looks like that's a key. Yeah. A banana is an edible fruit which can heal 10 HP when you eat it. Same with the apple. No. The banana has more nutritional value than the apple. That's good to know. A key for the sum door. Um, again, I mentioned that in the first, in the first episode. That um, there's probably a language barrier here. Oh, that guy's just totally swinging at us with these, like, huge arms. Uh, he's right behind us. You can see the health going down. He looks like he has uh, infinite reach. And uh, also, he's really fast. So that's that's him right there. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, there I, I don't see a way that 
hope that we could get this on the first try because basically if you go down a wrong hallway, then um, you're done. But, I mean, I'm not saying I'm the best person in the world at playing video games, but... um. It just, I mean, I ha we had the drop on him there. <laughs> and it didn't, it wasn't helpful. Okay, so that's locked. Okay, so we cannot open all three doors at the same time. I don't remember picking up, oh no, we did pick up a key right here. So pick up this, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, can we just, thank you. We'll leave the fruit there for someone who needs it. Um, we're never going to have a chance to use it. Uh, once we start taking damage, that's going to be the end. I wonder if we can open up the other door. I doubt it. We will try. Okay. I like how the sprint is actually a sprint. It's not a, a fast walk or a trot. Just checking out these windows. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on there. If it's supposed to be frost, but it's just brown. I can't tell. I do like how the glass, uh, you can just tell it's old. That's right. I'm start thinking about the narrative and what I'm talking about and uh, forget where I've been. Okay, and so... This was a dead end. I think we'll just try down here. We'll move these chairs out of the way. See, let's give ourselves every advantage that we can because this I think this is going to be a little bit difficult. Oh, there is the toilet. Okay, so someone was pooping on the table. Gross. Can't turn off the flashlight to conserve batteries. Uh, not an obvious way. Anyhow. Okay. Oh, well that's a that's a bug, isn't it? So we need to get to the second floor. We can't Oh, he's right there. What? And we already tried this. And we're about to die. Oh. I wonder if the monster can climb. Nope. Nope, he's got opposable thumbs. He's a humanoid. He cannot climb, assuming it's a he. Well, okay, that's that. Act 2, you miraculously escaped the monster. Try to find your brother and get out of the house. How many acts are there? I really wish we could conserve battery because there are so many lights in here we don't need a flashlight. And it's really inopportune when the thing just dies uh, when you're in the middle of a dark area. Oh well. What's back there? Secrets? Secrets. We're going to find them. Well, <laughs> this one because it looks easy. <laughs> Maybe it's not and I'm just full of myself here. Let's try this out. Okay. Uh Little, yeah, there we go. Yeah, brutal. Okay. Too easy. Door is closed. Need a key. Okay, and then so this is just going to be one of those things, I think, where we are going to be searching for a very, a very small object. And, okay, no, just got to have patience here. And I stacked those boxes there thinking that it might be useful to climb up. Oh, did our flashlight die? No, it's just, it's a, just a ter terrible flashlight. Hmm.
look at the flashlight. Okay, let's just try this out. Um, since we know the batteries die and all that. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, don't drop it, dude. Did we just drop it? No, there it is. Okay, combine with that. Okay, let's see how that does. Okay, it is brighter. Oh, I, I forgot about looking in the bottom left, but um, I don't know. If I can't turn off the flashlight, it would be cool. Let's just say this. The flashlight needs some improvements, uh, big time improvements, um, and just, just a few of them to make it um, like a real flashlight. Or at least um, if we can't turn it off, make it so that it keeps its 100% brightness the entire time the battery is working. I mean, am I? Oh my god. Okay, let me, let me just, I need to take a look at these settings here controls so in case use item one okay so that is uh, that's how I turned off the flashlight I just pressed one frankly I'm a little bit embarrassed but I don't know why um, it, it wasn't really clear to me Boop. okay oh that that's that's our clue it was one right there that's all right And there's a key nearby. Can't go in there. Is it inside the boot? I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see here. And so I just want to mention this because I, I, I'm still I'm thinking about how I didn't think about that. And I guess, you know, I've been playing games for a while now. And I, I guess my... Um, my ex look the flashlight's even going down right now while we're in a menu and the game's paused. I think it's paused. Anyway, my expectation of a game is, um, you know, it's kind of like an industry standard. You have um, little things here. Down here, it's like slot one, slot two, slot three, however many slots you need or can have. And then those correspond with the number buttons above WASD. And so um, I guess, you know, that's my fault as a player for not thinking about it for myself. But again, a lot of the things I notice in games that are like an issue for me to be able to play them is just they go against industry standard. Because, um, oh, what was that? Oh, jeez. So yeah, that's enough said about that. I bet you it's in the plant somewhere. Something. Where's... Is it um, underneath the boxes that I put it? No, I'm just trying to move it around so we can see it with the light. It might be behind the bookcase, and it's just like, you know, again, such a small object that we're trying to find that it's like you really got to get in there. Oh, my God, I am. Okay, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, that's what happened. I put the box up there. And that was just kind of a freak accident, so there's a glitch there, but... Okay, again, um, you know, I've tried interacting with pictures in other rooms, and um, I haven't been able to. So, again, this is just kind of a game of patience here, and um, still learning what we can and cannot interact with in the environment. And then we'll use this one to get up there. Okay, prone. So we're obviously not prone because our shadow is still crouched, but that's okay. We're saying a super low prone. Um, do I need to bring boxes in here with me? Well, I'm going to try to figure this out <laughs> um, outside of recording time because I don't think this is going to be fun to figure out, frankly. Uh, thank you for watching. This game is Corridor, Amount of Fear. It comes out on November the 24th of 2020. Uh, you've been watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll get a, be getting some more keys, uh, early access type stuff like our pre-release keys. Anyway, I release content every day. I'll see you in the next one.